What you guys, got another ransomware video here for you. First off I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the actual sample and all the work that them guys do over there to make your life a lot easier in removing these ransomwares, uh, malware and all the different types of rogues you see on the internet. So let's get on with uh, removing this uh, pest. So as you can see it's saying that your system's encrypted and I'm going to post up the actual codes on the screen now so you can actually enter them in here and uh, start the decryption process. Now once you've done that you should be able to pretty straightforward remove it. Now if these codes don't work I will show you the actual process of removing it manually. So first off let's reboot the system and see what happens once we reboot because then this changes and you can't then use anything on the computer. So let's reboot the system right now. As you can see the ransomware is now changed and it's now blocked out all of the actual start bar there and the uh, task bar. You can't do anything really. Uh, and this is another one. So what I will do is I'll post the code up here now for this version. So you, this is a different code and I'll post that up on the screen now so you can actually um, get rid of this. Okay now if this code doesn't work don't worry I will show you a process of removing it manually anyway just in case it changes or or anything like that. So what we're going to do now is reboot the system again into safe mode with networking, okay? So let's reboot the system. Now I want to be tapping F8 on the keyboard and uh, what I want to do here is enter safe mode with networking. Okay, that's just loading in now. Okay, so we're at the uh, safe mode with networking. And if you have got malware bytes on the system, you may be able to run it at this stage from here. Okay, but if you haven't got malware bytes on the system or anything to clean it, I'll show you how to do it manually anyway. Okay, so let's uh, go into the actual uh, my computer here. Right, so what we want to do is go into my computer here and what I want to do first off is I want to actually go to organize folder and search options there and also view and I want to show hidden files folders and drives also take the tick out of hide extensions and also show the hidden uh, operating system files okay you can put these ones back afterwards the uh, operating system files that's important to hide that afterwards okay so now we've got that showing, I want to go into the C drive and you can see now a folder has been shown which is uh, decrypt and this is part of the uh, rogue itself or not a rogue, a ransomware I should say um, but you can see it here we're going to remove this so I'm just going to delete this from the actual uh, area there and also what we need to do here is delete this uh, one here I also want to go into program data which is another hidden folder so once we go inside here there's another folder in here called local I want to go inside there and you can see a load of files inside here I want to delete all these as well okay so once they're deleted that's that done okay so let's go into the uh, windows part here and then we want to come down to system 32 which is there and once we get there we want to go over to date modified click on that okay so what we're looking for here is some files now this, don't, don't get confused with these types of uh, dates here you can see the date is saying 20, 21 of the second 2012 malware does this sometimes and it tries to uh, trick you but if you actually look at the actual file it was created on that date and I know this file is moody so what we're going to do is get rid of this file so you can see it was the third or the second of the third 2012 which is today so that's one of them I also want to get rid of one of this one here 
and again you can see the date it's been modified but it says it's something different here so that's another one we want to get rid of and also the one below that you can see the padlock there which is to do with that program we're going to get rid of that as well we're also going to get rid of this one and also this one we're going to delete these need to check this one out okay there's a file here as well I can see which is related to this uh, to this ransom here so if we right click on this we can open this up in notepad I don't want to always open it in that but I'll just show you and you can see okay so what we're going to do here is going to delete this one too right okay that's that part done what we're going to do now is just going to quickly go back and then change that and hide the operating system files now click OK OK so I can now delete this one on the desktop we've got no internet at the moment because this is not the internet out so let me just quickly delete and empty all these files and we're going to reboot the system back to the desktop okay so we're nearly booted up now and that should be the end of that ransom as you can see it's now gone the problem is we've got no internet as you can see down the bottom here and if I try to click on this it just won't work and we're going to try and get this back up and running now you may look inside here internet options connections and land settings there is no uh, proxy here it's not that that we need to change and I will show you what we need to change so first off what we want to do here is go to the start or all button there go to control panel and we want to go to network settings okay and we want to go to our local area connection here okay once we've got that open we want to go to properties Now once you've got properties open you want to come down to your uh, internet protocol version TCP IP we'll go to there and then go properties again and as you can see it's using this IP here we don't want it to do that we want to obtain an IP address automatically now if you have got a, a stack IP address you can actually put your own one back in there okay once you've uh, changed that if you wanted to okay so I'm going to click OK there now you may think that's going to be it um, but we've got to do a little bit more just to get that started and I'll show you what that is right now I'm going to go down to the start button here or all button and then click, click on CMD I'm going to right click on this and then run this as administrator now once you've got this open what we need to do here is go SC delete Pro. I will put all this on the actual uh, description there also bleeping computers got a, a nice list of stuff there that will help you okay so what I want to do next is do the same thing again SC delete and there's space and I want to do W D I services or service and then sys and then host once we've done that push enter and that's now deleted we can exit out of this now now what we're going to do now is just quickly reboot the system once more okay we'll just let this load up now okay and you should see down the bottom right hand corner internet should load up in there we go so let's just check the internet now
Okay, so there you go. Back to normal. I'm going to just check the internet. And there you have the internet back up and running. So that should be the end of that rogue now. Now, if you, you should be able to download malware bytes if you don't have that on your system. And I advise you to get that and TDSS kill out and run some scans with that. But we're going to run a check with um, malware bytes now. Always do the update first. Let them get the latest updates. Okay, and then go back to scan, and I'm going to run a quick scan here just to make sure there's nothing else on the system. Okay, that's the scan now finished. We've got two results. And as you can see, that's the actual registry key that needed to be removed and also the actual file that I used to infect the system, which is on the desktop. Okay, and they're the only two. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to remove them from the system and the job should be a good one. Okay, now I advise you to run some other scans if you've got other infections, but that should pretty much be it for this video. I hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and also show your support and also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Thanks for your support and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.